Hi, this is Michael, and I'm reviewing the Cables to Go USB 2 to IDE or SATA drive adapter. This will let you connect a 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch, or 5.5 inch IDE drive or a uh, serial ATA drive to your computer, and it uses USB 2.0. And I'll just show you the rest of the box here. All right, so let's open it up and see what we've got. Here are the various components of the kit, and here's the power brick. And there is included a, a, just a very basic manual here that just sort of gives you the overview of everything. And then here are the various cables that you'll need. It's kind of interesting to me, uh, kind of humorous, that the box shows a nice, very simple, you know, sort of a one cable deal here. But uh, in actual practice, you've got a few cables here. And so uh, your, your working surface should be kind of clear so that you can uh, not jiggle the cables while you're hooking them uh, to your, your bare hard drive. So here's the power brick, and first thing you need to do is connect the wall plug part of the cable to the power brick, and then plug that in. And you'll notice that on the power cable coming off the power brick, there is an on-off switch, and there's also a, a LED indicator light to let you know whether that is on or off. And then you've got the uh, IDE power plug uh, right here, and then this is your SATA power plug right here. Then this is for your uh, this is your 40 pin and 44 pin output, and this is for your uh, IDE drives. And then on the end here is the connector for the SATA. So we'll plug that in. And then uh, I have an old Barracuda drive here. Um, so this is what we're going to use for an experiment. And uh, so we've got to hook up the two plugs. This is the power plug. And then we need to hook up the output plug. And those just go like that. And then you get your laptop computer or your desktop computer or whatever computer you want to use. You hook up the USB cable to that. As soon as you've got, uh, actually what you want to do before you actually hook it up though is you want to uh, turn on the drive. And I can hear the spinning up right now. Okay, now that we've got the drive powered up, uh, I'm just simply going to hook the USB cable into my laptop and you should see the drive mount here in just a few seconds. Uh, I've actually got this old drive in two partitions so it'll take probably a few seconds for each partition to pop up there. But the convenience of using the cables to go kit is really uh, fantastic. No longer do you have to put a drive into an enclosure in order to do any maintenance or, or transfer files or anything with it. You can just take your bare drive and uh, you're good to go with this. So it's really awesome. The only downside, uh, and it's just uh, the nature of the beast, is you do have some cable clutter here and you just want to be very careful that you don't lose a connection while you're transferring data. Obviously that could be destructive. So I highly recommend the Cables to Go kit. Uh, I think you'll find it very useful. Thanks!